In this video, we're going to show you how to replace a wheel hub on your Hyundai Sonata. Let's get started. Using a 21 millimeter socket, remove the five lug nuts. Remove the wheel. Remove the cotter pin for the axle nut. Just using a pair of pliers. Using a 32 millimeter socket, remove the axle nut. Remove the washer. Make sure that the axle moves freely inside of the hub. If it does not, use a soft face hammer and hit it. Using a 19 millimeter socket, remove the caliper bracket bolts. Remove the caliper bracket bolts. Pull the caliper off. I'm going to use a hook. We're going to tie the caliper up to the strut. You want to hang the caliper in a way that there's no tension sitting on the brake hose. Using a 12 millimeter socket, remove the bolt for the brake hose bracket. Pull the bracket off. Using a 10 millimeter socket, remove the bolt for the ABS sensor. Using a pair of pliers, I'm going to wiggle the sensor back and forth and remove it. Remove the cotter pin for the tie rod. Using a 17 millimeter socket, remove the nut. Using a hammer, we're going to hit on the knuckle where the tie rod is sitting in. Using an 18 millimeter socket on the nut and an 18 millimeter wrench on the head of the bolt, we'll hold the head of the bolt and remove the nut for the ball joint. Remove the nut and the washer. Using a large pry bar with a hook attachment, we're going to hook onto the control arm, pull down on the control arm, push the axle backward. You want to make sure that the CVs do not separate inside of the boot. Using a 19 millimeter wrench on the head of the bolt, we're going to use a 24 millimeter socket to remove the nut. Do the same thing on the bottom one. Remove the rotor. Remove the bolts out of the knuckle. Pull the knuckle forward out of the strut. Push the axle through and remove the knuckle. I have a bungee cord wrapped around the hub so that when it pops out, it doesn't fly across the room. Using a coned hammer, I'm going to put it in the middle. Then using a second hammer, we're going to hit the hub out. Remove the hub. Using a flat blade screwdriver, we're going to get behind the C-clamp and twist it out. I'm going to use a second one to wedge in between. 
I'm going to keep going around doing this, making sure it pops up out of its groove. Work around the bearing, twisting up, pulling the clip out of place. Put a hand over this. These clips can shoot out and remove the clip. With our knuckles set up in the press, we're going to press out the wheel bearing. We're going to press the new bearing into the knuckle, get it set up in the press. Fully seat the new bearing. We're going to install the snap ring. Get the snap ring started on one side and then work all the way around getting it into the groove. When installing the hub, we're going to push it in through the front towards the snap ring. When we're doing this, you only want to hold the inside of the bearing, so just this inner ring. If you don't hold the inner ring and you try to hold the outer, you'll press the bearing apart as it's going in. Press the hub into the bearing. Keep going until it bottoms out. And our knuckles ready to go back onto the car. Install the axle and get the ball joint lined up with the knuckle. Drop the knuckle onto the ball joint. Make sure the axle splines line up. And then push the knuckle into the strut. Using a flat blade screwdriver to help me line up the holes through the knuckle and the strut. Install the bottom bolt first, put a hand on the face of the hub, push straight back and line up the top hole. Get the bolt installed and get the nuts started on both of these. Install the bolt for the ball joint. Install the washer and the nut. Snug down the nut. Install the tie rod end into the knuckle. Get the nut started. Torque the nut to 33 foot-pounds and up to an additional 60 degrees or until a slot in the nut matches up with a hole in the stud.
install the cotter pin. Torque the ball joint nut to 87 foot-pounds. Snug down the nuts, going from the knuckle to the strut. Make sure you have a 19 millimeter on the head of the bolt. Snug them down. Torque these nuts to 116 foot-pounds. Install the axle nut washer and install the axle nut. Using a pry bar to hold the studs, we're going to torque our axle nut to 188 foot pounds. Install the cotter pin. Install the brake rotor. If you have the rotor screws, install those now. Install one lug nut. This will prevent the rotor from falling off on you. Pull the brake caliper off of the hook or wherever you have it resting. Install it onto the rotor. Install the bolts for the brake caliper bracket. Snug the bolts down. Torque the caliper bracket bolts to 60 foot-pounds. Install the ABS sensor into the knuckle. Make sure it's fully seated. Get the bolt started. Snug it down. Install the 12 millimeter bolt for the brake line and ABS bracket. Snug it down. Remove the lug nut from the rotor. Install the wheel. Get the lug nut started. Snug them down. Torque the lug nuts to 80 foot-pounds in a star pattern. And you're good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ.
the only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.